Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. Take a look at these bones. Through science, we've discovered that some animals have their bones on the outside, like crabs and things like that. And some animals, like this guy, have their bones on the inside. Take a look at his bones. His skin's not here, his muscle's not here, but I have some of his bones, not even all of them. I have his head, I have his ribs and his front legs, his backbone, his hips and his back legs. Bones! What is the purpose of bones? The big idea today is that bones give animals their shape. Take a look at this skull. This skull has a flat part on the top, long front teeth, and tiny teeth on the side to chew. What animal do you think it is? This animal is a groundhog, and they're really cool animals. But the skull is what gives the groundhog's head its shape. It's hard to recognize it as a groundhog because there's no muscle and skin wrapped around this bone, but this bone gives that groundhog its shape. Take a look at this side-by-side -side comparison of a groundhog head with a groundhog skull. See if you can see how the groundhog skull gives the groundhog head its shape. That's pretty cool. Bones give animals their shape. So take a look at this. I can clearly see the skull and this guy actually still has some skin on top of the skull. The skull is giving the skin some shape. That's what bones do. Bones give animals their shape. And what kind of animal is this? Well, take a look. He looks like a fox. So take a look at this side-by-side -side comparison of a fox head with a fox skull. When we really look carefully at the shape of the skull, we have a better idea of what the animal is. Look at this skull. It has a longer nose, it has big teeth, and a flatter part of the top part of the skull. What animal do you think it is? I'll give you a hint. Take a look at the side-by-side -side comparison to find out that this guy is a black bear. Look at this skull. It has a big chunk of bone up here, a flatter spot down here where the, the bottom jaw sort of comes out and I have a big ridge of bone up here. Bones give a shape. What kind of animal do you think this is? Well, take a look at this side-by-side -side comparison to find out that this skull is the skull of a gorilla. Take a look at this skull. Smaller skull with big, big eye sockets and its bottom jaw doesn't stick out. What kind of animal do you think this is? Well, take a look at this side-by-side -side comparison to find out that it's a squirrel monkey. Another skull, another animal. What does this skull look like? Well, it has this long beak. What animal do you think that is? Well, take a look at this side-by-side -side comparison to find out that this is actually the skull of a goose. Another skull, another animal. What does this skull look like? Well, it has a long nose, it has big teeth, and it has this bump of bone on the back of its skull. What do you think this animal is? We'll take a look at this side-by-side -side comparison to find out that this animal is a coyote. Let's see if you can figure out the animal of the last skull. Big round head. Flat front of the face. And teeth. Take a look at this side-by-side -side comparison and see if you can figure out what animal this is. This one is a human skull. Science is so cool. If you want to learn more about bones and how they give animals their shape, check out our links in the video description. Thanks for watching. Thank you.